वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल साइंटिफिक अंडर स्कोर मैथ फॉलोइंग सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन यूजिंग दी डायरेक्ट टेक्निक्स गॉज एलिमिनेशन मेथड वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दी गॉज एलिमिनेशन मेथड इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस एंड दी मेथड कोड फॉर दी गॉज एलिमिनेशन मेथड यस एंड वी हैव आल्सो डिस्कस दी डिफिकल्टीज व्हिच वी आर फेसिंग व्हेन वी अप्लाई दी गॉज एलिमिनेशन मेथड in previous lecture i will provide the link in the video description you can watch uh, the gauss elimination method matlab uh, for gauss elimination method and uh, the difficulties which are uh, we facing when you apply the gauss elimination method so in this video uh, we in this video lecture we discuss the gauss elimination method uh, with pivoting and uh, we will solve example related to the and gauss elimination method with pivoting and uh, in next video lecture Uh, we will write a matlab code for the gauss elimination method with pivoting so let's start okay and gauss elimination method with pivoting okay in gauss elimination procedure the pivot equation is divided by the pivot uh, pivot coefficient we have uh, already know and uh, this uh, about and uh, this one in the gauss elimination procedure uh, but uh, and uh, this uh, uh, however cannot be done if the pivot coefficient is uh, if the pivot coefficient is zero yes uh, for example we have a system of equations here is system of equation and this is the pivot equation uh, and here we can see that the pivot coefficient is zero so uh, here uh, we uh, cannot apply the gauss elimination method because uh, we know that the pivot equation is divided by the pivot coefficient uh, to eliminate in these terms so Uh, as the first equation is the pivot equation and zero is the pivot coefficient okay so next to eliminate uh, 4x1 in the second equation and uh, the pivot equation is supposed to multiply yes by 4 by 0 and this is the pivot equation uh, this pivot equation we know that we multiply in this equation uh, by 4 and divide by 0 okay the pivot equation so Uh, and then subtract from the second equation to eliminate these terms but here we can see that the, uh, in this uh, in this case uh, the pivot coefficient in the denominator is zero so and the division can be avoided if the order of the equation can be changed uh, what uh, in this changing of the order of the of, of equation is called the pivoting and uh, such that the first equation and uh, such that the uh, first coefficient cannot be zero yes so what we do uh, to apply the gauss elimination method uh, we do pivoting and what is pivoting we change the order of the equation uh, with the equation that has non zero uh, first uh, first element non zero like this one and this one so uh, now we uh, solve this example uh, with pivoting and uh, then we apply the in gauss elimination method so we have a example this one and uh, this is the uh, first equation pivot equation and this one is the second equation and this one is the third equation so we can write in this in, into this form ax is equal to b okay so if we uh, write this in the matrix form and uh, uh, next we write the augmented matrix of this one okay so here we can here we can see that the first pivot equation and the first coefficient and pivot coefficient is zero uh, now we do pivoting and how we we can do pivoting we change the order of the rows uh, or the equation and uh, we exchanging the row 1 with the row 2 okay here we can see that now this is the pivot equation and the pivot element is non zero and uh, now we apply the gauss elimination method to eliminate in the of diagonal okay so multiplying equation row 1 with this term and subtract from the second equation and after this one we get and uh, this one and again, now we want to eliminate this terms so what we will do uh, we do 4 divided by uh, uh, 2 divided by 4 multiply the pivot row so then we subtract this one from this equation from third row and uh, we get this one okay so next we want to eliminate this one and what we will do uh, we do 11 divided by 2 divided by 2 and multiply the pivot row so 
uh, and then we get the, this one here we can see that this is the zero okay so now we apply the um, um, back substitution backward substitution to find the values of the unknown and we write this again into this form okay ax is equal to b okay so here we have the coefficient matrix 4 0 0 and minus 3 2 and 0 2 3 and minus 49 divided by 4 x1 x2 and x3 which is equal to 16 46 and a minus 250 245 divided by 2 okay so we multiplying this we multiply this row with this one multiply this row and after multiplying we get the and the, after some, some simplification we get the values of the unknown that is x1 is equal to 5 x2 which is equal to 8 and x3 is equal to 10 so this is the gas elimination method with pivoting and again what is pivoting we change the order of the uh, order of the equation that has uh, we change the order of the pivot equation and that has zero pivot coefficient with the equation that has non zero first entry first element so thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math for more videos and in next video lecture we will write a matlab code for gauze elimination method with everything